بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو پشاور ماڈل اسکول بوائز تھری فار آن لائن کلاسز دس از کلاس فائیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ آر آن لائن کلاس ٹوڈے جی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس بی ریڈی ود یور دس بک کلاس فائیو بک اینڈ ود یور اسٹیشنری ود یور پین پینسلس ٹھیک ہے اپنی اسٹیشنری کے ساتھ اپنی بکس کے ساتھ ریڈی ہو جائیں بیکاز دس ٹائم وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ سم بک ایکسرسائزز آف یونٹ فورٹین You should be ready with your this unit, unit 14, page 71 by Sickles. We have done reading and explanation of this thing. Okay, we have done reading and explanation. Kar chuke hai. And we also have question answers of this. Okay, we have question answers. Bhi kar chuke hai. We have solved them on books. So, this time we are going to start the conjunction. This is actually a part of speech. Which is a book ki exercise. Hai. Okay. This is the book exercise, but let me discuss what the conjunction are first. पहले मुझे बताने दें कि conjunction क्या होता है. Conjunction is actually a part of speech. Do you know how many parts of speech are here? Here are total eight parts of speech. ठीक है? जिनमें noun, pronoun, adjective, adverb, or preposition, conjunction, interjection. These all are the parts of speech and if we in some of the books we have read that these are total nine kuch books mein humne padha hai ki kitne hote hain nine hote hain including article clear in some of the books the number of parts of speech is, is and in some they are nine theek hai clear now the next is let me discuss what conjunction is A conjunction is a joining word. It joins two parts of sentences. ठीक है ये two parts of sentence को join करता है Clear? क्या करता है Join करता है Now, look here. Conjunction is a joining word. It joins two parts of sentences. Clear? For, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. For example, this type, these type of words. ठीक है अब मैं आपको बताती हूँ examples के साथ For example, अच्छा ये two sentences को भी join करता है और two words को भी join करता है clear? Not only part of like two sentences. सिर्फ ज़रूरी नहीं है कि वो दो sentences को ही join करे. It also can join two words and we will see that in the examples. ठीक है आगे हम जब example करेंगे तो उनमें हम देखेंगे कि ये words two sentences को कैसे join करते हैं और two words को कैसे join करते हैं clear? तो जब ये टू सेंटेंसेस को ज्वाइन करेंगे तो क्या वो टू सेंटेंसेस टू ही रहेंगे नो इट विल बिकम वन सेंटेंस टेन ठीक है वो एक सेंटेंस बन जाता है नाउ मूविंग ऑन नेक्स्ट पेज द एग्जांपल्स ओके स्टे इन बेड यू फील बेटर नाउ दीज आर टू सेंटेंसेस जस्ट फॉरगेट अबाउट दिस वर्ड नाउ अभी फिलहाल छोड़ दें इस वर्ड को स्टे इन बेड फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ सेंटेंस यू फील बेटर दिस इज सेकेंड पार्ट two sentences now we are using this word to join them stay in bed until you feel better you can see the patient in this picture that he is on the bed taking rest having thermometer in his mouth thermometer kya hota hai it's a device to check the temperature clear now stay in bed aram kare until you feel better jab tak aap behtar na ho jaye now jab tak urdu mein kaun sa word aa gaya jab tak this word means jab tak it is joining these two words this is actually conjunction clear stay in bed until you feel better until word is conjunction here i have not seen her since last week last week now last week is not sentence okay so in this way this thing is clear that it can join two sentences it can join two words i have not seen her Since last week, मैंने पिछले हफ्ते से उसे नहीं देखा Clear? Come to the exercise, the book exercise now. Choose a suitable conjunction to complete the sentences. Only use each conjunction once. ठीक है Now we are going to use the conjunctions to complete these sentences. Don't press the buzzer. Dash. You know the answer. Now, if we are not like, uh, don't bother about this blank. Just read the sentences. Don't press the buzzer. Just consider this is a first sentence. And this is another sentence. You know the answer. This is another sentence. Now, for example, 
These are two sentences and we are going to join them. So we should use conjunction here. What the answer will be? Until. Don't press the buzzer. Here this picture you can see the buzzer. Buzzer means a button. Clear? Don't press the buzzer until you know the answer. Jab tak aapko jawab nahi aata, button ko press mat kare. Is buzzer ko press mat kare. Clear? Second, the battery was dead. First sentence, he left the lights on. Second sentence, what we want to join them? A conjunction. That is because the battery was dead because he left the lights on. Kyunke, clear? Battery was dead. Battery khatam ho gai. Dead means mar gai, mar to nahi gai. Batteries low ho jati hai, khatam ho jati hai. Clear? So here the dead words mean khatam ho jana. The battery was dead because he left the lights on. Wo khatam ho gai kyunke usne lights on chhod di thi. It means kyunke. My favorite colors are pink, purple. Now pink, purple. This is completely one sentence but these are two words. And I told you before that they also join two words. Now let's see what the conjunction is here. My favorite colors are pink and purple. This word and or it shows that it, it joins two words as well. We don't have a key. We can't unlock the door. Hamare paas key nahi hai. Hum darwaza nahi unlock kar sakte ya khol sakte. So, so, okay? We don't have a key. So, we cannot unlock the door. To hum darwaza nahi khol sakte. So, so means, clear? We are going on holiday dash next Thursday. From agle hafte se, agli jume raat se, hum kaha ja rahe hai? We are going on holiday, clear? Chutia manane. From next Thursday. So this is also conjunction. The next, it has been a long time I visited my cousins. Since. Thik hai? Yani, maine bhoot arse se apne cousins ko visit nahi kiya. Since I'm kafi time ho gaya hai ki maine apne cousins ko visit nahi kiya ya maine unse mila nahi. Clear? Since. It has been a long time since I visited my cousins. We enjoyed the fishing. We didn't catch anything. We enjoyed the fishing, but we didn't catch anything. We fishing ko enjoy to kia, lekin hume koi, like hume koi fish nahi pakri. Thik hai? Hume koi fish nahi pakri, lekin hume fishing ko enjoy at least kia. To lekin, but. Clear? This is conjunction here. I love reading books. I prefer reading comics. Although. It, it is although. The conjunction is although. I love reading books. Mujhe books re reading bohat achhi lagti hai. Although I preferred reading comics. Comics means funny. Funny books. Thik hai? Kete hai mujhe. Magar. Thik hai? Agar che mujhe. Funny books parna zyada prefer karta hoon mein. Thik hai? Mujhe book reading to achhi lagti hai agar che. Magar mein kya karta hoon? Mujhe comics bohat pasand hai. Funny books. Please don't get lost. You take a shortcut. Thik hai? Please don't get lost unless you take a shortcut. Next, would you like that scone heated? Dash cold. Scone heated scone kehte hai actually. Baked items ko. Jasse bakeries mein pastries ho gai, cakes ho gai, burger ho gai. Jho bake hote hai na. Thik hai? Bun jo hota hai. Jho hum khate hai ya bread ho gai. So scone means pastry type. Those type of items. Ab wo aap se pooch rahe hai ki aap ko garam pasand hai ya thandi pasand hai. Clear? To ya word a raha hai. So or is the answer here. Would you like that scone heated or cold? These were the exercise of conjunction. I am repeating all the answers once again. Check your answers carefully. 
The first one, don't press the buzzer until you know the answer. Until. U-N-T-I-L. The battery was dead because he left the lights on. My favorite colors are pink and purple. We don't have a key, so we can't unlock the door. We are going on holiday from next Thursday. It has been a long time since I visited my cousin. We enjoyed the fishing, but we didn't catch anything. I love reading books, although I prefer reading comics. Please don't get lost unless you take a shortcut. Would you like that scone heated or cold? The children went to the bed because he felt tired. Now, they are asking to underline the conjunction in these sentences. This is the next exercise. On the same page. Now, what is our conjunction here? The children went to the bed because he felt tired. Clear? She was cold, so she put on her coat. What is conjunction? So, we have to underline this word so here. Next is, he was badly injured. He was badly injured. So, he had to go to the hospital. So, underline word so means he was badly injured, so he had to go to the hospital. Wo buri tarah zakhmi hua hai, to usse kya karna chahiye? To usse hospital jana chahiye tha. Thik hai? So word is conjunction. You must follow the rules or be sent off the pitch. Aapko rules follow karne chahiye. Varna kya ho jayega? Ya pitch se chale jayenge aap. Thik hai? So, what is conjunction here? Or. Next, fifth one is, the crowd gave a cheer when they won the match. Now, look this one picture. Very interesting. Looking at the, the crowd. Crowd kya lag raha hai? Cheering. Crowd rush ko kehte hain. Jaisi yaha nazar aa raha hai. log kya kar rahe hain? Shout kar rahe hain? Khush ho rahe hain. So, the crowd gave a cheer when they won the match. Now, which one is joining the sentence? The crowd gave a cheer when they won the match. She is very smart and studies every evening. She is very smart and studies every evening. Now, this and is conjunction here. She is very smart and studies everything. Second is number seven. They stayed outside playing, although it was raining. They stayed outside playing. Wo bahir khelte rahe. Although it was raining, bahir barish ho rahi thi. Although conjunction, ठीक है? They stayed outside playing, although it was raining. Barbara washed up the dishes after the dinner. So, after the dinner. This is conjunction here. Barbara washed up the dishes after the dinner. Now, again, here you can see no two sentences. The words has been joined with the help of this conjunction, okay? which I told you before, that it is not necessary that two sentences join. Ho. Ye two words ko bhi join karta hai. You are not allowed out unless you wear a coat. Now she is wearing a coat. You wear a coat. You are not allowed out. So. Which word is the conjunction? This is unless. Are you doing underlining side by side? Aap log saath saath underlining kar rahe hai? Teek hai, shabash. Very good. There will be no television. 
until you finish your homework yani aapko television dekhne nahi diya jayega jab tak aap kaam khatam nahi karte homework khatam nahi karte jaise aapko parents kehte hain na ki shabash good boys ki tarah apna homework finish kare to uske baad aapko television dekhna allow kiya jayega television means tv theek hai television ko dekhe ye t aur v television kise kehte hain tv ko jo hum ghar mein dekhte hain theek hai there will be no television until you finish your homework until is the conjunction here theek hai now that exercise is completed done do you want me to revise that once again chahte hain ki main dobara revise kar lu thode se answers dekh lete hain chale shabash check your answers the child the child went to the bed because he felt tired underline because number 2 she was cold so she put on her coat so third one he was badly injured so he had to go to the hospital in number 4 you must follow the rules or be sent off the pitch or number 5 the crowd gave a cheer when they won the match when number 6 she is very smart and studies every evening and they stayed outside playing although it was raining although barbara washed up the dishes after the dinner after shabash i hope you are getting the points you are not allowed out unless you wear a coat unless there will be no television until you finish your homework so until is the answer now here the next exercise add a conjunction and then finish the sentences now here first part of a sentence is given we will add conjunction here and we will complete the sentence here theek hai humne kya karna hai aapko maine kaha hai na ki it it joined two sentences theek hai so here is a sentence first part here we will add the conjunction and here the second part we will add to make that to complete that thoda sa interesting hai ab ye aapka kaam hai theek hai i will see you when you get home from school theek hai i will see you when you get home from the school i stayed in the room so i am happy because now first in first example they gave you the example theek hai ki ye first part hai ye conjunction hai ye second part of sentence hai now here they have given us conjunctions theek hai i stayed in the room so aage humne kya add karna hai taki wo complete sentence ho jaye agar main yahan answer likh du to wo to same ho jayega aapko pata hai ki hamare answer creative hote hain hamare change answer hote hain hum thoda sa discuss kar lenge aur aapne apni marzi ka answer likhna hai book par clear okay i stayed in room so theek hai next i am happy because you must hurry you must hurry or soche phir baat karte hain she can wait here till my brother is kind and the tree was swaying due chale ab answers dekhte hain discuss karte hain theek hai i stayed in room so main kamre mein rehta raha i stayed in room main kamre mein hi ruka so to phir aage kya hoga theek hai i stayed in room so i took rest ठीक है आई टुक रेस्ट या 
कोई और आंसर जो आपके माइंड में सूटेबल हो नो सेकेंड आई एम हैप्पी बिकॉज आई गॉट फर्स्ट पोजिशन इट वॉज माई बर्थ डे आई एम हैप्पी बिकॉज आई बॉट अ न्यू बैग इट कैन बी एनी एनी आंसर सेकेंड यू मस्ट हरी और और आप जल्दी करें या यू मस्ट हरी और या द बस विल लीव बस छूट जाएगी ठीक है यू मस्ट हरी और द बस विल लीव यू शी कैन वेट हेयर टिल हिज अराइवल ठीक है यू कैन एड एनी अदर सेंटेंस हेयर my brother is kind and helpful two words here the tree was swaying lehra raha hai darakh jhoom raha tha lehra raha tha due kis wajah se due to the wind due to the strong wind due to the wind blowing different answers clear clear ho gaya g now next is this is a part of the confusion of the question if you have any question in your mind so you can ask that here is exercise c page 71 this is your homework which you will do in your books theek hai on books not in notebook the exercise c page 71 on book note down your homework this is your homework today's homework theek hai ओके नो आई वॉन्ट टू डिस्कस दिस वन एक्सरसाइज अ लिटिल बिट वंस अगेन थोड़ा सा डिस्कस करते हैं बिकॉज द आंसर्स आर नॉट हेयर प्रेजेंट आई टोल्ड यू यू विल राइट द आंसर योर सेल्फ क्लियर आई स्टेड इन रूम सो आई कुड टेक रेस्ट द चेंज आंसर ठीक है जैसे मैंने पहले बताया था उससे थोड़ा सा चेंज हो गया आई एम हैप्पी बिकॉज इट इज़ माई बर्थ डे बिकॉज वी आर गोइंग टू इस्लामाबाद because i'm going to school clear some of the boys are happy and some are not happy for coming to school again and some boys are excited to meet their friends to come to school and to complete their works theek hai okay now you must hurry or they will leave you clear now we have discussed the change answer again she can wait here till his father's arrival she can wait here till her mother come here theek hai my brother is kind and soft hearted my brother is kind and helpful change words you can use my brother is kind and polite to me to me you can also add to me mere sath rehm dil hai aur acha hai or or this word is and the tree was swaying due to the strong wind blowing due to the storm clear so you can write your change answers here and all these exercises you have to do with the pens clear so that was our today's lecture i hope you have liked it and you have learned many of the things from this unit about the conjunction we discussed all three units related three exercises related to conjunction and i told you once that what the conjunctions are these are the parts of speech and they join two sentences or two words actually there are a lot of conjunctions we have discussed a few in this exercise clear हमने कुछ इस एक्सरसाइज में डिस्कस किए हैं दे आर एक्चुअली नॉट द होल ये सारी नहीं है दीज आर सम ऑफ द कंजंक्शन क्लियर आई होप यू हैव लाइक द लेक्चर एंड यू हैव लर्न अ लॉट फ्रॉम दिस टिल द नेक्स्ट एक्सरसाइज और द नेक्स्ट ऑनलाइन क्लास अल्लाह हाफिज़ टेक केयर